Hi, this is Guitar Man Chilling, and we're going to be going on to lesson number 11 today. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, major seventh chords, and um, there's a few major seventh chords that are that are beautiful. Even you know, and major uh, seventh chords are kind of a calm sounding chord, but uh, a lot of a lot of rock songs have been written with them, and uh, other beautiful songs too. There's a C major seventh and an F major seventh. So at any rate, a little two chord progression. I'm going to show you how to play these chords. So um, let me see here. And before we get to it, I want to review something too. I want to go back to our, our blank chord sheet. And um, you know, I originally introduced you to this in lesson number four. So this blank chord sheet, I remember the way it's used. I went ahead and wrote some, uh, some more stuff on, on it for you. Uh, now remember, it's always the same with these chord sheets. I, I showed you um, what site to go to print some of these out with your printer. And these are good reference sheets to write down chords that I'm teaching, teaching you on, your, on your, the lessons and stuff like that. This is um, always the sixth string over here, the bass string. This is always the high E string over here. This is each one of these little reference, uh, you know, uh, sh uh, little forms are written with one, two, three, four, five frets, okay? Now, once again, just like I told you before, if you, uh, you know, if there's a chord played up that starts on the fifth fret, just jot a little five down over here to the side that tells you to start, this chord starts on the fifth fret, then that would be the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Or if it starts on the third fret, the chord starts on the third fret, write, write a little three over there, and that would be three, four, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. So anyway, but the strings are always the same. Sixth string over here, first string over here. And the way they're written, the way these little forms are written here, these chord forms, is if they're, they're made so that as you're looking at them, you lay them right down on your chord neck. That's the way the chord would look. You play the C chord, that's just what it looks like. Just what that C chord looks like. First finger, second finger, third finger. You know, on the second string, fourth string, fifth string of the guitar. So that's the way they're made. Next chord, C ninth. That's just the way it looks. Played on the, well, that's the uh, first fret still because I didn't indicate it as anything else. So we're going to bar the third fret just the way it's shown, the C ninth chord, just the way it's shown, bar the third fret, you know, play the uh, first finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, third fret, fifth string. So you lay them, you know, if you get confused, you just lay it right down on the, on the guitar like that. That's the way the, um, the little forms are, are, are written. So at any rate, um, I also wrote down your scale over here, in this case a G scale, because this, this scale starts on the third fret. Remember the scale is always the same as you run it up the neck. Um, but I wrote it down here, so it would go, you know, like this. You're, you're on the sixth string over here, so that would be the root note of the scale, the G note in this case, because it's on the third fret. Sixth string, G, you know, I wrote the notes down in order of the scale. And after you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're back to where you started at the G note again. Now it's down on the fourth string. And so I indicated the, root, the G's as larger dots on this. There's a G, G, G in that, um, in that two octave scale that I showed you a long time ago. So at any rate, that's the use of these once again. Get real familiar with these because I'd like you to write down cool chords that you either figure out or that I show you on your reference sheet here. And that way you can always look back and say, where was that G6 or where was that, how do I do that six bar chord or that ninth bar chord? It's a good reference sheet. So, any rate, so much for that. Now going on with the major seventh chords. Okay. C major seventh. Okay. On a C major seventh open chord, it's played like this. You're playing the first string open, second open, third string open. You put your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. So second finger on the fourth string, second fret. Third finger on the fifth string, third fret. Okay, now you can play this E open, this low E, the sixth string E open, because there's already another E in the chord, which is right there. With, you're playing it with your second finger. Or you don't have to play it. Let your root note, and by the way, this is a C note where you're putting your third finger A, B, C, remember, on the fifth string. If you want to let the root note ring down, that's fine. It sounds good, okay? From the root note on down, just either muffle the sixth or don't, don't hit it. Okay, now, that's a C major seventh. Now, the F major seventh is formed from the F chord, okay? Our F chord down here where you bar the first and second fingers. 
uh, first and second strings, lay your second finger down on the third string, second fret. Lay your third finger down on the fourth string, third fret. F chord, right? Well, if you lift, if you, if you open up the E string, don't put any finger down on the high E string. You've got your F major seventh. So that would be the first finger on the first fret, second string, second finger on the third fret, third string, second fret, third finger on the fourth string, third fret. F major seventh. There's a root note right there. Um, you can play the A. I wouldn't. Don't play the E because it's not in the chord. You can't play your sixth string. You can play the A, the fifth string, because it's already in the chord. Here's another A right here on the third string, second fret. Okay. Or you can let your dot. Now the the um, the root note of the chord is right here. It's the F note. It's on the third fret, fourth string. So you can play from the fourth string on down if you want to hear the root note ringing out solid. Or you can add the A in there, the fifth string. Okay. The difference would be here's just the four strings: fourth, third, second, and first strings. You want to add the A in there, the low A? Got a little bit more fuller tone. Okay, so it goes C major seventh. Remember, you can't play. Yeah, I wouldn't play the sixth string. Just muffle it with the uh, meat of your uh, third finger right there. So practice that in whatever rhythm you feel comfortable with, you know, um, if you want to jazz it up a little bit. With up and down strokes. Okay, so work on those two chords. Now, also, but let, let's, let's keep going with the major sevenths. Now, you can take that C major seven and you can turn it into a bar chord that you can carry on up the neck like we do with our other bar chords. Now, so what you need to do is let's play the C major seventh, but let's play it with the fourth finger on the fifth string, third fret, third finger on the fourth string, second fret. And all the other strings are open, okay? Now, if you move it up one fret and you bar right behind it, so now you, you're barring the first fret, every single note. Remember we started with the C major seventh. Bring it up one fret. Bring everything up one fret and bar your first fret. It's like a standard bar chord. You've got a what? Now this is the root note, okay? It was right here, the C note, C major seven. Now it's a C sharp major seven, okay? So you see the way the chords form. Now if you carry it up another fret, now the root note is right here, right? Still on your where your fourth thing, fourth finger is laying. Okay, now it's a D, uh, D major seven. Okay, D sharp major seventh. There's a root note still. E major, E major seventh. Okay. Now you got your fourth finger on the E note. So that's how that major seventh bar chord works. C major seventh, C sharp major seventh, D major seventh, D sharp major seventh, E major seventh, F major seventh, F sharp. Remember. So now remember, you have to know the notes on your fifth string, just like your other bar chords. Like on your second form bar chord, its its root note is based off the fifth string. So A B C D E F G A. Remember, and then the sharps and flats in between. So, any rate, that's how it's played. C major seventh. Now, commonly when people are playing in the open position, they're playing open chords like C major seventh, F major seventh. You're playing the chord the first way I showed you with your third and second fingers. But when you're playing the bar chord, you have to rearrange your fingering, just like I showed you. So if we wanted to play uh, an E major 7, there's the E root note on the 5th string, 7th fret. Okay, so that's a major 7th chord that you can run all the way up the neck. Okay, now let's move on to the other. Now, the F major 7th. The F major 7th, you... Uh, you you saw how I showed you to play it, okay, with the first, second, third fingers, okay, on the fourth, third, and second strings. First strings open. Now, if you 
want to turn it in to a chord that you can carry on up the neck, you have to rearrange your fingers again on it. You have to use your fourth, third, and second fingers. Okay, so your second fingers on the first fret, second string. Your third fingers on the second fret, third string. Your fourth fingers on the third fret, fourth string. Okay, fourth fingers on the third fret, fourth string. Okay, now if you want to move it up, add your first finger on the first fret, first string. Okay, now you got a chord. You don't play your fifth string or your sixth string, okay? So now you got a chord that you can carry on up the neck. You're just playing four strings. So now it's an F sharp. Now remember the root note is right here on F major seventh on the fourth string, third fret. Okay, so now when you bring it up, that's still the root note, but now it's an F sharp note. So it's an F sharp major seventh. Then a G major seventh. G sharp major seventh. A major seventh. A sharp major seven, B major seven, C major seven, C sharp major seven, D e major seven. Okay. Okay. So that's a cool chord, the major sevens, and uh, they'll be useful. From you know, they, you got to use them selectively, but they are very useful. So there you go. There's two more chords you can carry all the way up the neck, and uh, very useful because now you know many, you know all your major seventh chords with just, uh, and you know two forms of it, just like that. Of course, they take work to get down, so you have to work on them. Now, I know that's a lot. That's a bit to take in right there. Uh, you know, write those down in your chord, um, your blank chord sheet, so that you have them for reference. Now, let's learn a couple others. though. we're not done yet. So, okay. So with the C major seventh, F major seventh. Okay, very nice sounding. So. Let's say um, we want some more forms. We want some more um, variations of the chord. Let's play the G major seventh. Let's start, go with a G major seventh. Here's going to be the root note, okay, on the G note, E, F, G on your bass string, okay, G note, third fret, sixth string, and we're going to add this to it. What we're going to do is we're going to, let's start from the top up. We're gonna muffle, we're not even gonna play the first string. We're gonna leave it muffled, okay? It gets muffled just by the way the chord is formed. First string is muffled. Second string, third fret, second finger. Third string, fourth fret, fourth finger. Fourth string, fourth fret, third finger. Okay, you put your first finger on the sixth string, third fret, you muffle the fifth. So the fifth string is muffled, first string is muffled. G major seventh. Okay, the root note is right here. Now, since um, we've got all the strings covered, you can carry that up the neck like a bar chord. And uh, you can refer to it as your first form major seventh if you want to. G major seventh. F sharp major seventh, or G flat, whatever you want to call it. G flat major seventh, or F sharp major seventh. G, there's a root note. G sharp major seventh, A major seventh, A sharp major seventh. Not changing any of the fingers, they're still the same as when we started it down here, but we're just on a different fret. Okay? A sharp major seventh, B major seventh, C major seventh on the eighth fret. So at any rate, you can carry that all the way up and down the neck, and uh, cool chord, cool chord, major seven. Okay, now, another form. Okay, let's go down. Now this time, we're gonna be barring all the strings on the third fret. Okay, all the strings, with the first finger. Okay, we're gonna add the fourth finger on the second string, fifth fret. Okay, we're gonna add the second finger on the third string, fourth fret. Right there. Okay. We're going to add the third finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. Beautiful chord. Okay. So let's go. So the root note is right here. 
notes A on the fifth string. A, B, C. Remember the notes on the fifth string? A, B, C. Okay. So we got a C major seventh. Okay. If we bring it up to the where we're barring the eighth fret, we've got a what note is that? An F. F major seventh. C major seventh. Because of the C you note right there, the root note on the fifth string, third fret. Then up on the eighth fret, we've got an F note, F major seventh. However you're uh, developing to play that with the rhythm, that's what I'd like you to do. Make your own rhythms up with those two chords, okay? Screw around with these uh, major sevenths and make your own rhythm patterns up. See where you can take that. Okay, so at any rate, nice chords. Um, I think, uh, you know, that's plenty to work on. That's, uh, that's, that's a lot of work going on right there with those major sevens because they take time to get down. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the open C major seven, open F major seven. Then we know how to turn that open major seven into a bar chord. You know, you take your C major seven, you play it like that, bring it up and bar the first fret. Now you've got a what? The root note is right here on the uh, fifth string. That's a C sharp major seven root note, D major 7th, okay, the open F major 7th, this is just a review of what we learned, just learned, F major 7th, okay, to change it into a chord that we can carry up the neck, you have to play it like this, because you have to add that first finger on there, okay, so now we're covering, okay, so the root note is right here, the F note, F major 7th, F sharp major seventh root note. G, remember you gotta learn that now you have to know your the notes on your fourth string. They're on your um on your your fretboard chart that I showed you. Let me see, where did I show you? Lesson three. Remember that it shows you all the notes. Doesn't go through the sharps or flats, but I already told you what those are. It goes through all the notes on the fretboard. Okay, so any rate, um so you know you have to know your notes, D, E, F, G, A. B, C, D, okay? When you do that, you'll know what chord you're playing, okay? So, F chord, F major 7th, F sharp, G, G sharp, A major 7th. Okay, so, we got that down. All right, um, let me see. Let's see what kind of time we're on here. Okay, we're just about done. We've been through a lot already. So, at um, any rate, uh, I don't think, you know, if you're wondering, and by the way, the major sevens have a different style of lead. You can't, now, and we haven't touched much on lead yet, but you can't use your standard uh, rock lead patterns on this. You have to change them over to a major seven scale. Like if you're playing a C major seventh F. At any rate, they sound different. You can't use standard um, standard rock lead patterns with these major seventh chords. So we'll get into that. And I'll show you how to work with them and, and create some beautiful lead work to go around them. But uh, that's about it for now. And uh, good luck with that lesson. It's going to take some hard work. Don't forget to use your, your um, blank chord sheet to write down some of these referen reference chords and stuff so that you can quickly reference them without going back to the uh, internet each time to the lesson. And also, I noticed another thing. When I go to my um, the lessons I've been putting up, since they're 15, some of them 20 minutes long, yeah, don't get aggravated. I know it takes them a, long, a while to load, but just let, allow them to load and completely load. Then go back and play them and go through the lesson, because I know it's very annoying when you're trying to go through a lesson and it has to stop periodically while it's loading information on. So that's my, you know, that's what I would do. My suggestion is I would uh, go ahead, let the whole thing load while you're doing something else. Then start on the lesson. Anyway, good luck, and uh, good luck with those major sevens.